Beaten in Bangkok, the red shirts returned to the streets of Thailand to fight another day. It was a symbolic start to a peaceful rally, a chance they said to regroup and honor those who died in bloody clashes with the military in the capital earlier in the year. The venue was one of their strongholds in the north, Chiang Mai, the birthplace of the former Prime Minister Thaksin Shinawat, a man most of the Reds support. With the state of emergency lifted in this province last week, there was no sign of the army or any significant security presence. This gathering was a sign that the red shirts are regaining confidence in the wake of the violence in Bangkok. There were deep divisions in Thai society before those clashes, divisions that are even deeper now. 91 people lost their lives in the violence when the military at first tried and then eventually succeeded in bringing an end to a protest that had run for more than two months. They had gathered to call for the dissolution of parliament and the resignation of the Prime Minister Abhisit Wechichiwa, a leader the protesters believe came to power undemocratically. After four months, the capital remains under a state of emergency, along with six other provinces. According to one of the few red shirt leaders not in police custody, it's another failed attempt by the government to control the people. The longer the government holds on to the decree, the more it has to explain its actions to the Thai and international communities. The red shirts haven't changed. We continue to live with an unjust system. But the emergency decree does not affect us at all. Not everyone in Chiang Mai is a red shirt sympathizer. Those in the anti taxin camp are known as the People's Alliance for Democracy. Their propaganda radio station was shut down under the state of emergency, along with the red shirt broadcaster. They say the Reds pose a bigger threat now because they're angered by what happened. The government is trying to tell people that the red shirts are finished, but that's not true. Ever since the riots ended, they have been reorganizing themselves, even though most of the leaders were caught. The government knows this very well. The anti-government protesters said this was a fresh start. They also continue to be motivated by recent events, with reminders everywhere of a dark chapter in Thai history. It means we survive and we want to fight again. For now, the party atmosphere has returned to a movement that refuses to back down. If the emergency decree is also lifted in Bangkok, they say they'll once again take their message to the capital. Wayne Hay, Al Jazeera, Chiang Mai, Thailand.